Hey Tyler, just a quick video for you to see how this is progressing. And as you can see here, the figures are fully detailed now. And I do, like I told you in email, it's very light, you can see, but there are lines, vertical lines that I did to, to get the perspective grid perfectly right with vanishing point here, the rising line, the figures are now fully done. And now I just draw on top of this. And it's very freeing, like you said, because I can do pretty much whatever I want. And this, like these rocks over here that I'm drawing now, I just draw them freehand. You know, like these. I can put the blocks because with the perspective grid, even if it's not coming from the same vanishing point, I can draw in relation to what I have. And I usually draw them on pencil. Just like this with not much detail because all the detail I'm going to add later on when I'm inking what I need now from this is just to make sure that the um, the perspective is right and that in terms of composition it's working you know just you can add a f like one here you see skewed in relation to the, the perspective from the floor And I also have the horizon, the, sorry, the horizontal lines here and on this wall, because if you remember from the layout, they were crumbling. So before I draw the exact contour of the of the wall, I wanted the, horiz the horizontal lines, so that now I can do something like this, you know, following these lines, because naturally this is how the wall would crumble, following the rocks. You know, same thing over here in this wall behind Spider-Man. You can draw something like this. We have a bunch of horizontal lines. Some are so light that you probably can't see. And you go like this, for example. You know, having the full figure allows me now to know that this hole behind him uh, is either going like this For example, and it doesn't touch the figure, or it would go like this. I prefer to keep it like this, so that each figure is completely inside this pit with the walls, and we have doom that surpasses this wall behind him, which will be something, you know, like this. You have the wall crumbling here, and then you have a tiny bit that comes down, and these rocks are crumbled, and you can come down here, and you see. Following these vertical lines, I know that this block should be cut right here. And we draw like this. So we have now defined the entire thing. There is a very light tower that's already appearing here. I will draw it later on. And you also can see the what will be a silhouette of this wall that will frame the entire drawing with its big rocks here that will be covered in black again I just drew the outline very quickly because then I will fill it in black with a brush and um, I don't need much more detail than this because I can add it later I will draw the chains that will be here uh, dropping down again with the, full, the figures fully rendered I know where to put them so that there is no conflict in terms of composition and uh, oh and just so you can see, like I draw this, for example, with this perspective grid, I can start drawing rocks like this. I will draw some, not all of them, because a lot of them I will draw directly in ink. This is how I usually do stuff, you know. Like I told you, I'm going to do a bit more organic, in the sense that we will have larger rocks, smaller rocks, even slightly rounded rocks. I will draw bigger here so you can see better. Like you can draw one big rock that goes like this, that uses, for example, two horizontal lines. Then you could draw on one in the side that goes like this. Then we can draw smaller ones here, even ones that are a bit more organic, like they were pushed here when they were building the wall. Then we can draw a vertical one here and another larger one here, maybe broken here. 
And when we go and we draw like this, and once I'm satisfied with, for example, this bit of the wall is working well, I will probably draw a few more larger rocks just to map them out. Like one can go here, another one here that can be more vertical. So you know, so that I have a few anchor points that I can uh, then organically draw with ink directly. It's not just to save time, it's also to keep some spontaneity coming out from the, the inking bit, you know. But as you can see, whenever that happens, we have a fully, fully fleshed out uh, grid. And even in the ground, you know, the same thing. We can draw. No, I'm going to avoid using too much this line here in the middle because it doesn't work as well. You see over here, I probably need to push a few lines there because I want to draw a bit more organic. I will push a few lines, a few extra lines, just to make sure. We can use it better, so like this. You know, we can come here and have one big rock here. We can even have one that's rounded out like this. That goes like this. Then you have something. So I thought of doing this quick video just so you could get a glimpse of how pencils are progressing. I will do one for you with inks as well, or maybe a few, I don't know. And uh, I think this might be an interesting thing for you to see. And uh, I'll show you more stuff soon.